In the heart of central Minnesota, there is a convergence that can only be described as divinely guided. Our story begins in Sauk Center, Minnesota. In 1911, the Sauk Center Home School for Girls was established to provide care, training, and education for girls who did not fit into the community. Girls were taught skills such as farming, cooking, woodworking, and sewing, skills that would help them become productive citizens. Architect Clarence H. Johnston Sr. took a long-term view of this facility and incorporated colonial and classic revival elements into the buildings. The entire facility was not only practical, it had a grandeur and beauty rarely seen in care facilities. The property included an administration building, a hospital, a chapel, farm buildings, and cottages to house 160 girls. The school was closed in 1999. The land, which had a glorious purpose for nearly 90 years, sank into a state of waiting, waiting for a new purpose so it could rise up and fulfill an even greater potential. The U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs estimates that a quarter of the nation's homeless are veterans. Returning troops suffer from depression, post-traumatic stress disorder, traumatic brain injury, and heightened levels of anxiety, all of which can lead to substance abuse. Many of them are unprepared to integrate back into the world they left. The invisible wounds of war can continue for years, even if a veteran returns with his or her life. In 2008, the RAND Corporation published a 10-year study on post-traumatic stress disorder, traumatic brain injury, and depression among veterans. Their recommendation? Delivering the necessary care would pay for itself in two years and even begin saving money due to increased productivity and decreased health care costs. There is a desperate need for veterans to receive not just health care, but whole care, care of the body, mind, and spirit, care that includes families of veterans, care that teaches new, marketable skills in a rapidly changing workplace care that places optimal health and happiness at its foundation. Nadia McCaffrey had a son. After September 11th, Patrick, a middle-aged father of two, felt called to fight for his country. He died while tending to his friends, a casualty to the Iraq War. Nadia was determined to honor his death by helping returning veterans. She envisioned a place where they could be healed with simple things, such as nature, silence, working the land, and spending time with their families. She heard of the Sauk Center property and paid a visit. The vision became clear. Here was a place of such beauty, the natural beauty of the wilderness, the beauty of a clear Minnesota lake, the beauty of multiple buildings, lovingly designed and steeped in the energy of caring. This land had a purpose, to heal, and who may argue that Nadia was drawn here by the land itself? The divine works in mysterious ways. The property is ADA compliant and meets all state health and fire codes. The buildings need only a little cosmetic TLC to restore them to their former glory. And this too could be a healing project for veterans. A new generation of farmers is needed in America and this is an ideal environment to achieve that goal. The fields are ready for planting and harvesting, creating immediate income. Veterans will learn the best of modern and organic growing practices, allowing them to restore the age of family farms. A farmer's market will build a bridge with the local community, helping everyone feel a part of something bigger. There are modern kitchens, able to feed veterans and guests. A small restaurant and food co-op will teach business skills. Year-round greenhouses will provide jobs and job training. The entire food chain will be an incubator for future employment or new business startup ventures, while also providing inexpensive, quality food for all. The barns are well suited for equine therapy, canine training, and large group events. The healing power of animals is well documented, and those who feel uncomfortable with people when they arrive can soothe their nerves by spending time in the barns. Veterans can come for a variety of programs and stay for any length of time. Some may choose to transition to a new community and start a small business. 
Some may decide to live on the site with their families, take advantage of other training opportunities, and or work for the organization. Some may enter a mentoring program, helping those who are coming in behind them. There is room to provide assisted living for singles and couples and homes for families with children. Affordable rental and some permanent housing would be available to all. Hospice care is available on site with a modern hospital close by. All primary care and services will be given and utilized through the neighboring VA hospitals and clinics. Troops waiting for deployment could find solace and peace here and leave with a tranquil vision for their return. Valley Forge Village will enhance resiliency among veterans and their families, restore productive individuals to our culture, and heal the invisible wounds of war. This beautiful property on the National Historic Register has withstood the test of time. Although the culture has changed over the past 90 years, the purpose has not. That purpose now needs a new direction. We believe Valley Forge Village is the vision waiting to be born. Everything is here, brought together by the divine. All that's missing is the financial resources to make this a reality. Just as George Washington called us to duty and Patrick McCaffrey answered that call, it is now our duty to bring the power of healing home.